What's going on guys? So this morning I just finished up wiring in the wide band to the car, the oil pressure, and uh, tidying up some of the loose wiring situation that we had. We got the starter working off the key again. Uh, right this second, I'm gonna plug into the laptop so I can log and make sure everything is working, all the sensors are reading, and we got the right kind of data coming through. And then we're gonna, um, we're gonna start the car, I'm gonna throw it in drive immediately, I'm gonna throw it in first gear immediately and, and run the run the transmission since it's the first oil it's had in a long time. And then after we burp the car out, make sure everything is good, we'll get it on the ground and back it out and then get the neon in here to do the service on that transmission.
Tank, guide this man in. Guide him in, Tanko. Oh, back it up. Come on. He said, bring it on. <laughs> he said, get this junk out of the garage. Look at him. Get it out of here. <laughs> hey, no barking. All right, so I got the neon pulled in the garage. I'm going to work on getting this drain plug. See if we can switch up here. Work on getting this drain plug loose here and getting all the fluid out. Then we put the new stuff in. So before I pull the drain plug, I'm gonna pop the fill, the fill cap off up here and uh, release some pressure, make it flow out a little bit easier. Here comes the fill plug. Steady streams. All right, let's get our eight millimeter back on here and tighten this back up. All right, let's get our fluid and fill it. All right guys, so this is actually what we're gonna be using in the transmission, Royal Purple Synchromax. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys using this stuff. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things. I know a lot of uh, SRT guys go with uh, Mobile One high mileage oil in the transmission, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this stuff. So let's, uh, yeah, cut them open, put them in there and see how we like it. All right, round two. Uh, the bottle method wasn't really working with the angle, so I got a funnel and a tube set up into the fill. So let's try this from the top and see if it's a little bit better. All right, that seems to be working a lot better. So just keep going with that one down. I think it takes two and a half quarts.
fill plug in and they got the drain plug in over here tightened down so we're gonna show you guys what we got from the other goodies all right guys we just finished up with the uh transmission fluid swap on the neon we put the royal purple synchro max in there um i want to show you what else we got going on as you can tell by the title of the video and we were going to put a short throw shifter in this thing um it's pretty common everybody does the hearse or mopar but uh i ended up going with the mad dog uh, i ended up getting this off of uh another friend on marketplace for pretty cheap i got a good steal on it but he also threw in some shifter bushings here and i did look we do already have boogers up in the front here on the transmission side um so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put those in i'm gonna leave those two out but i am gonna switch the two by the shifter because i i did look at those the other day in the car and those are worn so um gonna go with those and this model is actually the uh, 58 percent reduction and i'm going to show you that once i get the other one out of the car but it is uh shortened an inch on the rod length and it does come with the rod brake options so there's no bird caging or uh overextending the, the shifter cable so uh, this thing should be really nice and it feels actually a lot better than the stock one so and to accompany that I ended up picking up an MPX Modern Performance stainless steel shift ball because the stock one is plastic and it just feels wonky. I don't really care for it, to be honest with you. So I'm always used to weighted knobs, so a little bit more. It definitely feels a little more heavier than the stock one, but uh, it should should feel nice in here. Let's. Uh, I'm going to start taking out the center console. I think it's only six Phillips screws, and then uh, we're going to try to start assembling this and then start playing with the bushing so get you updated on that as we go along there's a tab up here so you have to pull from the back forward so you don't break that tab should slide off from the back there's that tab on the front I was talking about I think there's a couple screws in here okay so I did look there is two screws here and then I moved some of the stuff down here there's four screws in here. I believe those are the six that I, I was reading about. So I'm going to take these four out here and it should slide out towards the back. Yep. I'll pull this a little more. Should slide right out. Gotta finesse it out pretty much. Toss this in the back seat. Alright, got that in the back seat taken off. I am going to remove these clips here holding in the shifter cables to the base. I'm gonna remove those first before I unbolt the actual base so it's a it'll be a lot easier for me to take these out first before removing the base so i'm going to do that first and then uh we can address these bushings all right so i got these clips out they're kind of a pain uh you just got to pull on them really hard but i got these clips out uh, i'm going to take all four of these bolts out and then we're going to get the shifter assembly out i also have to disconnect the clips i believe there's a couple clips holding the two uh cables in on the assembly here so get these off and then i'll show you on getting these out all right i got all four of those bolts undone and i managed to get the shifter base um, loose here looks like i have to get this bushing off of here but i need to pry on the back side with a flathead so i'm going to try to get this off of here and then so we can switch these bushings out as well just remove the whole shifter assembly uh 
these should come out once I get these off the cable should slide out the front so yeah let me let me get this taken care of and then I'll show you guys on that okay so I did manage to pry those bushings from the cables off of the shifter assembly so there's nothing connected here I'm gonna try to slide these cables outward okay I managed to get the shifter base off of the cables you just kind of got to push back towards the firewall on these and pull off to the side and uh they should they should just come right out of their sleeves they're sleeved here so um i'm going to show you the shifter here compared to the mad dog so let me get out here and uh put these side by side for you guys okay so real quick before i show you the shifter i actually pulled these bushings out over here uh, roger gave me a hand one of them was pretty hard I feel like one's a little more stiffer than the other, almost as if they replaced one bushing before. I'm going to show you the other one real quick, but this one's definitely a lot squishier than the other one. The other one's harder. But yeah, the, you can see they're cracked. I mean, that's what happens to the stock bushings over time. But we're going to replace those with some solid ones. So yeah, just be careful because if you apply too much pressure, you can break these plastic ends if they're stock. So be aware of that here is those new ones the guy that uh sold me the shifter threw these in for free so huge shout out to ryan and uh, i guess this is his business that he runs so rs auto works need some bushings these are actually more uh harder plastic versus the boogers so it should give us a little bit more direct feel on the shifter less give versus like the more rubber style so pretty stoked on that so yeah let's show you the shifter in comparison um let's get this set up here i'm going to take these uh nuts off the bottom so we can put this onto the base he had to separate it for shipping so it's absolutely fine pretty straightforward there's two bolts i believe in the back and then one bolt and going to be in the front so kind of angle this over and then set this down in there yeah so you got to kind of like scoop it scoop it in there with this arm so it'll slide in there nicely and then you obviously you have your your adjustment with your brakes so we're gonna tighten this down okay got the other shifter assembled the short shifter obviously the the throw is going to be diff different because of the brakes not being set up right away but there is a significant difference versus so i mean you get the idea there's definitely a lot shorter distance with the throws there's no cables hooked up but a lot more all right well i got this assembled here we're gonna put this in with the bushings and see how it feels also adjust the rod brakes all right so we got our bushings here these should just slide in fairly easy push this one in Not bad. All right, let's get this base on here. Just a... That's tightened down now. 
We can put the clips back in. All right, so I had to use the hammer to kind of tap these in. You got to make sure you pull this towards the back because it's real. It's it sits within a collar, so you got to pull this back and then tap this clip in. But got that one in, and same thing with this side. This side as well. Just made sure it was flush. Uh, tapped it in with a hammer, so both of those are in, and now we should be able to slide our. We should be able to slide the bushing over the rod here. And then we got a clip that we have to put on the end here. do the same thing on this side okay so off camera um i finished i tightened the assembly down completely to the car um bushings are in i installed the clips the new bushings it's actually fit really nice as everything's real tight uh, i just went over the adjustments on the brake it's it's hard to see but uh, let's see oh actually right here okay so here's third gear you see there's barely any gap so you have to adjust the brake to where it's just up against the rod and then there's fourth gear and basically you just loosen those bolts and adjust the the brake plates accordingly so I got that adjusted. Now I'm going to put on, I have the MPX knob, but there's an adapter for it. Okay, so we got the knob. This is threaded on the inside, stainless. Definitely has a little bit more weight than the stock one. Black one's plastic. Okay, so off camera, I actually, this is the adapter for the stock, or for the aftermarket knob, but there's Allen keys in there, and you have to just slide it on and tighten it down as a sleeve. Not really a fan of it, prefer the threaded, but it's what we got, it's what we're working with, so... See, it should make a difference. The other one definitely slid off during shifting. I didn't really care for that. So hopefully this one's a little more secure than that. Off camera, I kind of just knocked it out. I was getting a little late. But um, I got the console back in here. Tighten those uh, six screws down. Put the shift boot back on. And you actually have to put the shift boot back on if you got an MPX knob. You have to um, slide the boot back in before you put the adapter on. I messed up and put the adapter on and had to take it all back off all eight screws so make sure you slide the boot in before you put the adapter on and uh yeah i got everything snugged up and tightened up it actually looks really good it's uh pretty short um the side to side is definitely stiff it's a lot stiffer for sure um but yeah first gear second third fourth fifth and reverse but yeah overall it's i mean it's definitely way more firm for sure with the the bushings so all right guys that looks like it's gonna be it uh Appreciate everybody for checking the video out. Uh, stay tuned. We got another one coming for you here in a couple days. So appreciate everything and all the views. Give us a like and a subscribe.